Boom, baby. Fucking Christ in Bethlehem. I am tired, man. I don't even need these. What a, what a what a long day. I've been uh I've been I'm going been going hard today, boys. I've been up since five o'clock in the morning, and uh, it's now ten o'clock, and I'm still going. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Is my uh my my okay? It looks like my feedback loop is working here. Crack will help you with that. No, thank you, Lou. I uh. Not a big fan of the crack cocaine. Uh, what's going on? It seems to uh, seems to be a little slow today. Uh, only one person is here, but hey, I'll take it, Lou. How to do? Good to have you here. Um, maybe YouTube slapped me with a shadow ban. Who knows? You can only keep it real for so long before they come for you. And then... I gotta go full Alex Jones. Gotta go in the underground. Who knows? But we got one man in the house. Fuck it. I'll do the show for one man. How you doing today, Lou? Lou, I got your email about the consultation. Um, just, uh, I did four consultations today that I had to handle. Um, and then uh, I went to jujitsu and stuff as well. What's going on, masculine mentality? How you doing, buddy? But, uh, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm catching up with the, uh, the whole, um, how do you say it? Uh, the consultations. I'm just, I'm completely spent right now. So, bear with me, if you will. Please bear with me. That's all I ask of you. Let's fire up the... Instagrammer, Instagrammer mammer. Interview with the man. Yeah, today we're going to talk about the science of seduction. What's up, guys? Today we're going to talk about the science of seduction, right? So everybody seems to got a got a big old you know, yardstick of science shoved up their ass these days. Everybody wants verification. Where's the study for that? Where's this? Not that any of these fucking people could even interpret an actual scientific paper. Most of these people couldn't even interpret the data that is presented to them. However, today we're going to talk about the science of seduction. We're going to talk about two things, okay? Two simple things that are guaranteed proof on what you need to be doing. What you need to be doing in order to be getting um, success sexually with women. Okay? However, in the meantime, you know, if you want to call in, call in right now with your questions 657 383 1318. Today's show, I guys, I am just fucking spent. I've been up at f I've been up since five. I did consultation at like you know six a.m. and then um, I did another consultation. I actually did two consultations before I went to jujitsu, and then I went to jujitsu, and I was fighting, 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 and then um, after I got home from jujitsu, made a little smoothie. And then uh, I had another consultation with a guy, and then I just got done with the consultation right now with our with our local superstar from Poland, Michael. So I am ready to pass the fuck out and have some wild ass dreams. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Balls are empty. It was a good weekend. A lot of sex. A lot of massaging. You know, nothing better than busting your nut, getting massaged, getting your back scratched, and falling asleep. Few things in life can triumph over that small but significant victory, in my opinion. So let's say what's up to the boys in the chat. Peter, what up? Lou, what up? 
Masculine mentality, what's going on? King Nick, yo, Winston the Wolf, yo. Remy, what up? Cody, what up? Big Chungus, this guy. That's me. I'm the man with the plan, baby. And it's comply or goodbye. You don't like what I'm doing? Take your fucking loser ass out the door, sweetheart. Because you're going nowhere. Remember, 2019, I'm on a mission of mercy. And I'm saving everybody at discount rates. I had a consultation with the with a business expert today. Great man. Very good man. We actually ended up talking more than an hour. And, um, you know, this guy was telling me, Got to, you know, he's he mentioned to me in an email that really got to raise my rates and uh, just get a lot of things going more. Um, but you know, I told you guys, 2019 is my year of mercy because I'm already kind of getting, I'm already growing pretty quickly as is. But at the end of this year, you know, the body language mastery is going to be pretty much cut off in regards to getting the webinars and access to the Facebook group by default. Um, you guys who are in the Facebook group, please don't mention what's going on in the Facebook group, in the chat, or anywhere else, any other chat. But you guys that are in the Facebook group, you know what's going on, especially as of late. And, you know, daily red pills are being dropped in there. But yeah, um, 2019 is the year of mercy. I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting everybody in. For as low as possible, and then come 2020, just like Bitcoin, my price is going up. A little stressed out a little today. Watch your Bitcoin fluctuate. I'm back in right now. Um, back in at 5,098. I'm floating around right now, like 5,137. So technically, uh, excuse me. Technically, I'm up, but um, I think it's gonna go a little bit a little bit higher. Ivor, what up, baby? Ivor says it's quality content. Ivor, you are a quality man. Um, but yeah, definitely quality content. I can concur on that one. Give you one of these right here. Bing bong. That's right. Quality content. Quality man. Quality results. That's all I'm doing here. So, Ed Lattimore is in the house. Ed Lattimore gets to the little... Little Japanese celebration. What's up, Ed Ladmore? How you doing? When's the next class going to open up? Registration for quarter two is starting June 28th. And it will be open June 28th, June 29th, June 30th, July 1st, and July 2nd. So, you know, now now is uh what's up, Mark? You trading this Bitcoin, this Bitcoin insanity? I was just telling the boys I'm, uh, I'm in right now. I'm, I'm in at uh, 0.84 Bitcoin at 5,098. Uh, and we're floating around. I think we're going to hit 6,000. So, you know, I'm not making a fortune, but just a little pocket change. Just a little pocket change. Oh, you made my dogs go ape shit with that thing. I'm very sorry. Go man aside. I'm very sorry. Um, King Nick says, I'm balls deep in EOS, may go 50-50 between that and BNB. Um, BNB is good stuff. Do real shit says, Bitcoin is the future. Absolutely. Charles LeBlanc says, anybody else hedonistic? Yeah, bro, I'm, I'm living for pleasure. You know, being a hedon has its upsides and downsides. But hey, at the end of the day. It is what it is. 26 people in the house. Uh, guys, call on in. Call on with your calls. Um, no question is too small. 657-383-1318. King Nick says, Godlike resistance at 5.5 from the volume profile when 6K support broke back in November. Yeah, the, you know, the price is pretty the I don't know, I don't know if you guys fuck around and check the mempool in Bitcoin, but the mempool is pretty much empty right now and the price is pretty much stabilized at around 5100. So, 
for you guys who know what I'm talking about in regards to technicality, it's actually a pretty damn good thing. That's a very good indicator. Um, could somebody technically pull the plug on this $100 million invest investment they made? I, I have a feeling it was somebody in China that's, that's, that did this shit. I want I want to feel like it's, I feel like it's something to do with the Chinese, but what do I know? I'm just speculating. But yeah, guys, today we're going to talk about the science of seduction. So uh, before we get into it, as you guys know, I'm offering. Uh, this is the last year I'm offering my prices at for consultations at seventy dollars an hour. So if you want to get a consultation, go to streamlabs.com forward slash modern life dating channel. Click on that link right there that's in the chat. Send $70. You'll be instantaneously booked for a consultation session with yours truly where we can discuss finances, money, um, game, fitness, relationships, Gorilla Pimpin' 101, the whole nine yards. I guarantee you it will change your life. If you don't believe me, ask the hundreds of men who have already gotten consultations with me. Um... You know, every guy who gets a consultation, I give him the whole nine yards, give him the full service. Vandy says, you're good, man. She's half retarded anyways. I like retard, so. There she goes. She's probably losing her shit right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, you can you can book your consultations right there or go to modernlifedating.com, click on Skype sessions or click on the, the if you're watching on replay, click on the description box below. Um... The, the the range of services that I offer is truly, truly very wide. So, yeah, today we're just going to jump right into it because I'm exhausted. Today's show is not going to be that long. I, I'm literally fully old man hogwood. I'm going to go and fucking finish the show and literally go lay down and go to sleep. I'm, it is 10, 14 p.m. and I am thrilled to go to bed. I am absolutely stoked. Um, like I said, wild day. You guys in the Facebook group, you know exactly what's going on. And, uh, yeah, buddy. It's just time to take a good old naparino. So today we're going to talk about the science of seduction, all right? So let's just get right into it. Guys, I've been saying and saying and saying for the longest time, if you're not in the gym and you're not hitting the weights, you're fucking shorting yourself. You short yourself in the worst possible way. So here we have a news article from the UCLA. Okay, let's let's share the screen. Fuck it. All right. So it says, "Lift more weights, get more mates." UCLA research shows that muscular men have more flings, partners, and affairs. As a muscular man and certified hot dude, I can confirm that this is 100% true. But that's just hot dude science. Let's actually dive into the re real science here. We're just gonna we're gonna cover this entire article because I want you guys to clearly understand the science of seduction. I'm not just some guy hawking courses on here, hiring fake actresses for fucking fake pickup infield videos, and just just selling you course after course and just telling you just oh just approach more or whatever just to to bleed you of every last dime that you have okay i'm, I'm not about that all right i take pride all right my ego is all about you guys winning so if you guys don't win i don't win so that's what i'm trying to trying to uh to, to get across to you guys here is like i'm i'm invested in your success if you don't succeed that means i'm a shitty teacher if I'm a shitty teacher, that means you know I'm not doing a good job. And if I'm not doing a good job, I'm not okay with that. So let's jump right into it. It says, women don't just like men with muscles. They go for them. Men who are more muscular than average are much more likely to have short-term affairs and multiple sex partners than their scrawnier peers, according to new UCLA research published in the August issue of Personality and Social Psychology Bulletin. Now, this study is from, this is an old study. Too. This is from 2007, but it's still true to this day. Uh, 
Harry says, if you're trying to figure out why men, especially young men, spend so much time at the gym, here's your answer, said David Frederick, lead author and a UCLA doctoral candidate in psychology. The stereotype is that men work out to compete with each other, but our research suggests that pumping iron is a way for men to enhance their attractiveness to women. Of course, it took a nerd, a whole fucking scientific experiment to, to basically verify hot dude common sense. So that's, that's for the nerd there. But hey, thank you, Dr. David Frederick, for your contributions. We appreciate it. As a representative of the hot dude community, I truly appreciate all your contributions. I'm sure our local guest, Ed Ladmore, who is a certified hot dude himself, I'm sure he is happy for your contributions. Ed, Ed Ladmore is a hot dude and a scientist. Uh, let's continue. <clears throat> so, the series of studies conducted by Frederick Lynn and co-author Martel Hasselton, a UCLA associate professor, oh, poor guy, can't get tenure, of uh, communication studies and psychology is the first published research to quantify an association between muscu men's muscularity and their success in the sack, which is in the bed, right? The 40-year project also scientifically quantified for the first time women's perceptions of the importance of muscularity in selecting short and long-term partners. A lot of mate selection research focuses on what men find attractive. This shows women are putting a premium on attractiveness. Women care about mas uh, muscularity when they choose sex partners. And now here's how this, the actual scientific experiment went down. Frederick and Hazelton led a team that photographed 99 male undergraduates. A panel of independent judges rated the men on a nine-point scale, with one being much less muscular than average and nine being much more muscular than average. Okay, so the skinny guys were, were, were the skinniest, dorkiest dude was a one, and the, the big jacked Chad of all Chads was a nine. Okay, and anything in between that, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's how the scale worked. The researchers then asked the men about their sexual histories. When compared with their, mus their less muscular peers, young men who were more muscular than average were twice as likely to have more than three sex partners in their lives. Okay? Which is pretty good. It's a pretty good indicator right there. All right? In another study, Frederick Hasselton asked 120 undergraduate males to rate their own physiques on the same scale and then asked them about their sexual histories. The self-identified self muscular men had not only more sexual partners than their less burly peers, but they were twice as likely to have brief flings or one night stands with women. This gets good, listen to this part. The difference in the number of sexual partners reported by the men who were more muscular than average was also notable. They reported having an average of four partners compared to an average of 1.5 partners for men who reported average or below average muscularity. So these dudes are blowing, blowing these dudes through the park. By blowing them out the water here. In a similar study, Frederick Hasselton asked 60 graduate males an additional question. How many affairs had they had with women who already had a boyfriend at the time of the affair? Muscularity mattered here as well. The more muscular individuals were twice as likely as their less well-built well peers to have hooked up with someone else's sweetheart, okay? So if you're not living that hot dude life, if you're not jacked as shit, 
and there's another dude that is, your girl might have some wandering eyes if your game is not rock solid. This is just science. Don't get it mad. Don't, don't get mad at me. You know, write a letter to God. I don't know. The researchers who are associated with the UCLA Center for Behavior, Evolution, and Culture say that their findings on muscularity are consistent with research, find, research findings on the secondary sexual characteristics of other animals, such as the intention getting such as the attention getting feathers of male peacocks. Yeah, those things are beautiful in real life, by the way. Everyone knows that testosterone is a hormone that promotes strength in men, but less well known is the fact that the hormone is also associated with poorer immune system functioning. Secondary sexual characteristics are thought to have evolved a syndicator's what is this? Oh, evolved as indicators of mate quality because they demonstrate an ability to flourish in the face of what's really a drag on the system. Males in good enough shape to withstand uh, delir delirious, I don't know what that says, deleterious effects of immunosuppressive. All right, well, they're just going... You're going off the fucking the wall with the nerdy shit here, but let's go over here. Um, intro, here's another part here. So it says women in the study seem to be on to the muscular men as well. When presented with six standardized silhouettes of men ranging from brawny to slender, a hundred and forty one undergraduate women consistently identified the most muscular ones as not only less likely to commit but also the more volatile and domineering in this study the women rated tone guys the physical shape two notches down from brawny as the most sexually attractive see this is why i told you you guys you don't have to be that jack to get more ass Okay, you don't need to be more, you don't need to be super jacked. You just need to look like, you know, kind of like Justin Bieber, right? Justin Bieber is, he's muscular, he's slender, but by no means do I look at him and like feel terrified for my life. You know, but if I look at Brock Lesnar, you know, Brock Lesnar is a huge, massive hulk of a man. He would, he would eat Justin Bieber and shit him out in two swift motions right? But girls aren't too thrilled about that. You know, all you got to be is just like, you got to be built like kind of Spider-Man, okay? That nice muscular tone. Spider-Man. Um, Brad Pitt in Troy and or Fight Club. Um, what else? Dude from the notebook. It's pretty jacked. Not super jack, but just enough. You know, the girls don't like you being super, super jack. But if you are super jack, they're, they're, it's better than being scrawny. Moderate muscularity demonstrates that men are in good condition, but they're not so overloaded with testosterone that they're volatile, aggressive, and dominant. What these uh, computer dorks left out is that women like men that are volatile, aggressive, and dominant. Frederick said... Just based on their experiences, women seem to be able to weigh good and bad male traits. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Still, in a study by Frederick and Houston of 82 uh, college coeds, most women reported that their short-term partners were more muscular than their long-term ones. Woo, buddy. Is that a red pill or is that a red pill? They characterized their long-terms and presumably less muscular partners as more trustworthy and romantic than their one night stands or brief affairs. This suggests that the sweet guy approach works better for less muscular men. The muscular men don't need to put in this kind of effort, especially for a short term relationship. So whose feelings hurt? Let's go check the chat. 
whose feelings are hurt. Let's see. Alpha Kingdom, what's up? Seeing you watching WrestleMania. Yeah, I was watching WrestleMania today. I was watching WrestleMania. I was having a good old time. Flashbacks. But you see what I'm talking, guys? Guys, I'm not just full of shit. Like, I'm telling you the truth. You know, there are there are factors that you can manipulate and change in order to scientifically increase the level of attractiveness in yourself. You know, look at these dudes in the chat. All right, look at our boy Big Googs, right? 6'2", 240, built like a fucking brick shit house. The dude runs through women, runs through them, okay? Is there any correlation or just coincidence that he also happens to be jacked as fuck? Of course not. Of course not. Michael Zerati's in the house. You need to hit the weights. People should never ask, do you even lift? <laughs> What's that even mean? Oh, my God. They should ask, why D? Why? I don't know what the hell. Last of a dying breed. Good to see you in here. Good morning, fellow players. Don't have time to watch, but just wanted to check in. Keep it pimping. 100. Thank you very much. Let's see. Ohio. Ohio spelled with a Y. Superman rocks. Ha ha. As if this shit is new. This has been true since the dawn of time. Yeah, good. Lifting weights resonates with the man's soul. Yes. Marty Hasselton is the female author who wrote Hormonal, which Rolo often quotes. Interesting. Hit the like button. Yes, do that. Haha, ha, I'm doing my workout now. Squats have the most testosterone secretion. Yeah, because you're working out your legs. Those are your biggest muscles in your body. Deleterious means that makes it go away. There you go. Testosterone is bad for your health. If you are healthy and have a lot of testosterone, then oh boy... Your immune system is strong. And I'll take the testosterone any day. Because the more testosterone I have flown through my body, just the quicker the panties come off. I'm telling you. It's just, it's like almost, it's like, the, it's like the greatest, it's the greatest cheat code. If you want to talk about cheat codes, it takes time. But if you go to the gym, you lift weights, you eat steaks, you know, you pick heavy shit up, you put it down, you're deadlifting. You know, if you just deadlift, Honestly, okay, here's the simplest workout plan for you ever, okay? Just squat 135 for like three months. And then deadlift 135 for three months. And then bench press 135 for three months. Just do that right there. And that will get you in the best fucking shape in regards to like um, getting, getting quality women. If you're not doing it right now, it's super easy. Just get a bunch of protein and get it going. Brad Pitt Fight Club, you need a swimmer's body. Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee is great. Ryan Gosling, yeah, he's good. James Dean, uh, I can't say. Uh, get fit, not fat. Very true. Zuck Nation says, hey, what's up, man? My Red Pill Mama says, my theory is that women don't like hulking beasts is because at a certain point, muscularity becomes more intimidating than attractive. Yeah, there gets, there, there gets to a point when you're a hot dude and you got a bunch of muscles that you start getting more dudes coming up to you and asking you about being jacked and shit rather than women. That's happened to me too. Got a bunch of dudes like, hey bro, like you lift weights? Like, no dude, I just, I'm a ferocious masturbator. Of course I lift weights, bro, look at me. And you get a lot of, a lot of guys coming up to you at the bar, where you're at, they want to know, you know, oh, you, what do you do? You, do you drink protein, whatever? Hey, God bless them, whatever, it is what it is. Um, but yeah. You know, it's 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 always better to border on the a female's fantasy of like the seducer, like uh, you know, the sexy seducer. You know, you're kind of svelte, you're looking good, and um, that that's what I would say is the ideal. Cultivate crypto says all the opportunity is in the volatility. That's right. I've been watching Bitcoin like a hawk right now. Ramy says now I see why girls don't want feet for LTRs. There you go. Who cares? Bang them. Ejaculate. Evacuate. Get on with your life. Uh, just your brother, what's up, says you're preaching MLD. Thank you, sir. Doesn't too swole give off a douchebag vibe, bro? Where you been, man? Girls like douchebags. 
Red pills and mainstream science. That's right. Remy, 6'4", 190 pounds of pure lean muscle. Shit, I believe it. I think women can tell when men are naturally fit versus roids. Still boggles me that aesthetics are greater than having a lot of muscle. Yeah, I guess. Can't say. I can't say. Luceros, you, you're, I think you're new here. Welcome. I'm already progressing in the gym. Can't change the fact that I'm five foot eight. Would do a lot for an extra three inches. Now, dude, Michael Zarate's in here. He's five foot eight, and he is crushing the life game. He's jacked as fuck. He's got a beamer. He's hot, dude. Come on now, don't sit around and cry. Just make you know, make do with what you got. My new twelve pound protein pack came in good. Isaac, what up, bro? Pull-ups as well, yes. Need to add two more plates to that 135. I knew you were going to come in here with some fucking self-righteous shit about me giving these guys an easy path. Not everybody's a pro lifter like you, dude. <laughs> like, just 135 is a good baseline for the first three months. You know, form over weight when you're beginning. And, and, and I think you can concur with me on that. We've all had injuries when we're ego lifting. And we put too much weight and bad form ended up screwing us up with an injury. Uh, let's see. You also get social proof with a good body. Yes. Girls love social proof. Yes, they do. If a dude asks you how you got so jacked, just tell him, I just go jogging once or twice a week. That's funny. Another paper discussing hypergamy once again. One day the world will finally accept reality. Yeah, just, you know, don't shoot the messenger. What if Tinder filled with hookers? Should I continuously use it if, if norm women are in there in a in little tiny amounts or discard it? It's up to you. I mean, I did start out at 135 or less when I was like 165 pounds of weakness. There you go. You got you to start somewhere, man. Everybody's got to start somewhere. I, I, I tell guys it is better for you to have impeccable form with light weight than heavyweight with bad form because that's when you start making deformities in your body and you know especially after getting an injury in october like that wrecked me the last thing i want to do is tell guys to do shit that's going to get them injured because i wouldn't wish that on my 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 worst enemy unless it was thomas i would wish that on thomas i, I hope he's strained and, and fucking paralyzed himself from the neck down fuck that guy <laughs> but other than that i wouldn't wish it on anybody else it's, it's just not cool it's not cool okay so that's our first fact and then i'm just gonna go into our second fact real quick then I, i'm gonna go i'm just tired guys i'm so exhausted i'm gonna go to bed um we've already got 30 minutes here but that that right there is just literally scientific proof of what the deal is okay and the second thing we're going to talk about here is it is called the Where's the one I want to read? Where is it? Okay, here's here. Okay. And the second part is called the halo effect. Okay. This is a psychological term. And it says right here, the halo effect is a type of immediate judgment, discrepancy, or cognitive bias. Okay. This is like a, a cognitive bias is like when you, when you think a certain way that has already been predetermined. Like if you say some shit like, uh, you know, uh, just for example, like all Asian women are terrible drivers. And then you see an Asian woman crash a car and you tell your friend, see, that Asian woman crashed her car. Therefore, all Asian women are bad drivers based upon this situational evidence, right? That's the cognitive bias. Where a person making an initial assessment of another person, place, or thing will assume ambiguous information based upon concrete information. Okay, A simple example of the halo effect is when an individual uh, is when an individual noticing that the person in the photograph is attractive, well-groomed, and properly uh, attired, which means properly dressed, assumes using a mental heuristic that the person in the photographer from the photo and the photograph is a good person based upon the rules of that individual's social concept 
this entity or other whenever concrete data is generalized or influenced. Oh, wait, hold on. No, no, no. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. This constant error in judgment is reflective of the individual's preferences, prejudices, ideology, aspiration, and social perception. The halo effect is an evaluation by an individual and can affect the perception of a decision, action, idea, business, group, or identity, uh, group, entity, or whatever concrete, whenever concrete data is generalized and influences uh, ambiguous information, okay? So basically what they're saying is this, all right? That if you're good looking, people are gonna assume you're smarter than you are, People are automatically going to assume you're a good guy. People are going to assume you're making a lot of money. Like they, they just automatically assume positive things when you look good, right? Uh, Kanazawa and Kovarb in 2004, they uh, they reasoned that if the four fall uh, that if the four following assumptions were true, beautiful people are indeed likely to be more intelligent and provided empirical evidence for these assumptions okay so uh more intelligent men are more likely to attain higher status right because that's part of halo effect higher status men are more likely to mate with more beautiful women in in, uh, intelligence is heritable beauty is heritable because at the end of the day we're all here to have sex and have kids and a woman wants to pass on the best possible genes to her offspring all right so when you're jacked as fuck, you know, you're just flexing your DNA on full blast. You just let them know like this is maximum Chad. This is what our little bur little our little babies can come into this world as. Right? The halo effect is is something that is very beneficial to you in Rel's dating because look, at the end of the day, you want to be the best version of yourself at all times because i mean look it, it's just so much easier when you're attractive people just treat you better life is better as a hot dude you get better raises you get better treatment at work you get better treatment at restaurants i've received free upgrades and free meals and stuff just for like being a decently well-groomed handsome guy and everybody can do it what do you think about zeusk is that a dating thing I've heard about it. Once you start looking like Rich Piana, you'll literally scare chicks away. You'll scare the fucking life out of yourself too because that guy's fucking dead from all the steroids he did. I think that's confirmation bias. I'm reading this book, Think Fast and Slow Now. It's very eye-opening. Yeah, confirmation bias is like, you know, like let's just say... uh all, you say all, all Americans who live in Japan wear yellow sunglasses, right? And then you turn on my live stream and you see me wearing yellow sunglasses. You're like, see, I told you. All Americans in Japan wear yellow sunglasses. And that guy is an American living in Japan. Therefore, he is wearing sunglasses and I am correct, right? Random dudes buy me drinks at bar every time. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. No, every guy wants to be jacked, man. You know? When girls ask me who my favorite Disney character is, I'm like, Gaston, baby. I'm living that Gaston life. Jacked, Hunter, loves himself. Peak Chad, all right? Peak Chad. Um, life is better when you're jacked, guys. Life is better when you're jacked and handsome. And you can sit around and and shortchange yourself by not going to the gym. Um, you know, it's at the end of the day, it's just it's no bueno. Vandy says, "Okay, man, I gotta roll. Get the kid to the school, then hit the gym." You're like my morning church. I'll catch the rest of you on YouTube later. Get some rest, bro. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But yeah, guys, you know, if, if you're like, if you're that's that's why I knew when I like okay, so I got into this field of work and I saw that like. You know, I would see this little twerp, like this skinny little dude, ugly, wearing glasses, but he's a really good internet marketer, right? And then, you know, he's 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 filming an infield, right? And and guys are so hungry to get their dick wet that they'll believe almost anything. 
All you need to do is buy this one $800 course and you can have it all figured out, even though you're a fucking a sexless looking dweeb, right? And, you know, at the end of the day, you can spot a guy who's not getting game and who, who's not getting broads from a mile away. You got these dudes that are dressed up in like skinny little shirts. They have thin little arms. They got a big old gut. They're wearing glasses, but they're suddenly hooking up with like a fucking 9 out of 10. And then only for you to find out later that, oh, well, he paid this chick. Like this guy, Tom Torero. I don't know why everybody's talking about this guy, Tom Torero. This guy is ugly as sin, okay? Let's just keep it. We got to call a spade a spade, okay? If you Google Tom Torero, T-O-M-T-O-R-E-R-O, -E okay, this guy was caught on two separate occasions hiring actresses to pretend to get picked up by him all right this guy doesn't look like he could even deadlift 135 and this guy is like british ugly like he's from britain and he is he is like very ugly british man like fucked up teeth messed up nose weird underbite and this guy is is like you know, kind of talks with his mouth like this. You know, this guy's out there telling guys like, yeah, looks don't matter. And all you need to do is believe in yourself and be confident or whatever self-help crap he's spitting out there. But at the end of the day, you know, neglecting your health and not being in good shape is is a, is an L in multiple categories. Tom Torero is that UK day gaming dude. Yeah, look at that guy. That guy looks like, He's straight up off the set of Lord of the Rings. He looks like one of the orcs. All right. And this guy is, is hooking up with the nine. Right. When the guy is like a, it's like a hard four. So, you know, for these kind of guys that are saying like, you know, you don't need to go to the gym. It's not who you are. You don't need to put on muscle. Trust me. Do yourself a favor. This year. All right. Just put in six months into the gym. Six months in the gym and tell me your successful women doesn't happen to change in a positive way. Last of a Dying Breed says, God damn, that boy ugly. <laughs> Ed, 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 my man, Ed's still watching. I love you, Ed. Ed Lattimore says, bro, you're roasting him like marshmallows, fam. <laughs> Bro, because I, I fucking hate guys that scam other men in this community. Like, I give it, I give it to these dudes real as, as, as day. I give it to you guys straight every single day. I'm telling you, I, don't know, I know you're just popping in, Ed, but the mantra of this show is make money, make muscles, learn game. Those are the three backbones of modern life dating right there, okay? You know, the modern is like, you know, it's part of the making money. Life is, is making muscles, taking care of yourself, and dating is study game. Modern life dating, right there. That's that's the the you know the backbone of it all. And you're telling me, oh, you can just walk up to this girl and be like, hey baby, hey honey, you believe in magic? She's like, oh yeah, let's go fuck right now. Like <sighs> and, and like the girls are terrible actresses as well. So <clears throat> that's why I'm telling you guys with like hardcore scientific data here. It is beneficial to you to be as most physically attractive as possible. Dude looks like a leprechaun. Where's my gold? It's probably in his bank account where the rest of his fucking scamming. Scam cash. You know, that's why I can't. I just can't take these PUAs. Serious, because they're one after the other is getting busted, you know? It's like, you know, I saw this guy the other day, right? Some some dweeb. And he goes to the prostitute district of, of Thailand, and then he puts up a screenshot of his Tinder, and he has like 300-plus matches on Tinder Gold. But every prostitute in Thailand is running Tinder, Bumble, with some sort of right swipe bot attached to it. So of course this dude is gonna have a bunch of of uh, matches. He just he just you know sells it like he's the man, and then he goes on a date. He goes on a date with a girl from Tinder, right? 
and there's a camera set up like six feet away from them and a camera following them. And you're trying to tell me that a, like a girl would not be able to pick up a guy filming you. Like it wasn't like a low shot. It was like a straight across shot. You're telling me a girl would not be able to see somebody filming her and be like, hey, like, why is that guy following us? Like, you know, you just got to think behind behind the curtains and, and think about the entire fucking picture. That's all I'm trying to say. BK from the Rocky says, I recommend that guys use a calorie counter as you hit the gym. As Donovan Sharp says, you can't out-train a bad diet. That's very true. It's extremely, extremely true. Oh, Ed Ladmore liked my British ugly comment. That's funny. You can't you can out-diet a bad training regimen. Yeah, you can. That's true. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it. Um, just a quick little, quick and easy today for you. Get your asses in the gym. Live that hot dude life. Lift weights. You know, sex, weights, protein shakes. That's the mantra of it all right there. Um, yeah, I'm just, guys, I'm tired. I've been up since 5 o'clock in the morning. It's 10.45 p.m. I went to jujitsu. I did four consultations today. I'm catching up with all the consultations. So if you want to book a consultation, do it now because they're, they're, they're getting harder to get. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys all for watching. I hope the show today didn't suck too bad. Um, no webinar, obviously, but I, I'm literally I'm, I'm literally turning this off, laying down, and going to bed. So uh, much love to you dudes out there in the hot dude army. Keep on keeping on. Make money, make muscles, crush it today, um, and I'll catch you next time. See you later.